What is up everybody and welcome back to our brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links farm video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm Yubel in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Yubel is finally back into the game and this is the farm deck that I'm going to be using and showcasing to you guys in today's uh, video. But I'm going to be I'm going to be completely transparent with you guys when it comes to this video. This is the first time I'm using this specific raw deck against Yubel and if the farm doesn't work out then I guess you're not seeing this video. Nonetheless though if you guys are excited for today's farm video as always be sure to go hit the like button on the video down below and sorry for being late on this farm video. It's been a yikes today. I've been kind of rushed and busy with school, but we're here now. Let's go do a break deck breakdown on this deck. And just to be fully aware, I'm going to tell you guys the cards that you absolutely need, but a lot of the cards in this build can be swapped out, okay? Just keep in mind, a couple of the cards that are mandatory and that you need in order to be successful with this farm is that you need the Winged Dragon Raw. You need at least two Golden Ladybugs, but honestly, you need three. Three copies of Golden Ladybugs. Two you can get by with, but three is a need. Just saying. And then you need some Something like hatred aid or anti-magic arrows hatred aid would work better in these situations but um you know anti-magic arrows works better in most cases and then you also need something like a creature seizure creature seizure is very important for uh, this build uh to keep in mind about that next up too photon lead you, you need something like photon lead and another card that you could try if you don't have photon lead for whatever reason is double summon double summon is a good substitute for that and last but not least you need worm bait to get worm bait it is from uh, the flame of the tire mini box to get photon lead it is from the red it's a contrast mini box if you want to go for double summon i think it's from the uh chaotic compliance box uh next up if you want to get to creature seizure this is a rank pp ticket so check your sr on rank pp tickets and see if you can get a copy of creature seizure uh hatred aid is from the rampage forest mini box but if you want to try to get anti-magic arrows you can get that from an sr ticket if you want to get golden ladybug you need um it from the primal burst box and then if you need the wing dragon raw it is a lifetime mission reward so if you don't have it already i don't know what to tell you next up though with the rest of the cards these rest of the cards are optional in this deck i'm running sangan in my build so i can search out for a golden ladybug because when we're going to get to bell you bell terra incarnate's gonna just blow up the whole field and due to her blowing up the whole field i can uh sangan gets sent to the graveyard i can search out for one of my golden ladybugs boom bada bang there we go next up we have two copies of dimensional prison to defend herself two copies of the mirror fires to defend myself floodgate the if a u-bell gets summoned i'll just flip it face down we have two copies of wall disruption to defend herself and three copies of golden goblins housekeeping to uh basically thin out our deck and finish the farm a lot quicker if you want to get this card this is from the spellbound ex structure deck or donna destiny if you don't have good goblins housekeeping you run something like jar to jar agreed or shard agreed and you should be good from there and then the skill you can use any skill that you want i'm using life point boost eggs it's most convenient and let's get into today's farm and attempt to get on uh, you i think like yeah it would be cool to pull that anyway so let's go try out this farm and see if it works if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't we'll see what happens but yeah we're playing yusei right now because yusei and all the other 5d's characters recently got their um levels increased so you can now level them all up to level 35 which is cool pretty happy about that i will say though some of the card rewards i'm not really cool with but other card rewards i'm like hey it's pretty good um let's go see our opening hand yeah this is a decent opening hand we're just gonna go for that triple back row and kind of call it good hopefully we can draw into our other sand gans or golden ladybugs soon mystic tomato okay um yeah i'll just banish that boy i'll just banish it to the shadow realm real quick real quick like okay good that was housekeeping that's pretty good we're gonna be able to thin out our deck i'm gonna return hatred aid okay another mystic tomato not a surprise not a surprise and we got a sand game that's also great uh i'll take the damage i don't really care too much let's go golden ladybug nice now we're getting the golden ladybug engine going oh oh yeah ultimate providence is definitely going to be an issue that's what i'm saying guys you need at least like three like three is mandatory golden ladybug like i said you could attempt to get by with two but three is such a must especially for cards like uh ultimate providence we're gonna go add our uh, other golden ladybug so with this farm too you need like a golden ladybug at least one of them to survive we have two in our hand currently if they all get ultimate providence then we are screwed if you want to try to run some counter traps too uh feel free to run some traps that can counteract against uh, ultimate providence i strongly recommend that too because ultimate providence is definitely an issue and that is for sure and also that's another thing too i are okay and i think we might fail this farm deck for one reason because of ultimate providence we might get lucky we might get lucky against ultimate providence but now thinking about it i saw some other deck lists around the community um that were running two copies of hatred aid and since they're running two copies of hatred aid, i can definitely see why so yeah i strongly recommend actually to swap out one of your back row cards swap out one of your back row cards and run like a second copy or two copies of like anti-magic arrows or something like that you know yeah i think anti-magic arrows like long term will be probably best overall 
That's for sure. Um, honestly, I'm kind of concerned that Yuvel's not going to summon a single monster. So just to have some open back row, I'm actually just going to waste my Floodgate just to waste it. Because now thinking about it, I don't think I want my back row to be filled up like that. I have a bad habit of doing that. But yeah, honestly, I, the only way I can see myself losing this farm is literally because of Ultimate Providence. That is for sure. So yeah, like just run two copies of Anti-Magic Arrows or two copies of Hatronade. Yeah, I think two copies of Hatronade is probably going to be the most optimal for this. Okay, second Ultimate Providence right there. Definitely a problem. Yes. Oh yeah, another card I should probably run is Draining Shield too. That was the one card. I knew I was missing something in my deck. I think running um, Draining Shield would probably be best. That's for sure. Green shield actually help out a lot. Well, hopefully, uh, wow. Okay, I mean, could be worse. Could be worse. No cards can be added to the deck. Okay. Ooh, limit reverse. Relax, my mad lad. Relax, my mad lad. Um, we're gonna return uh, creature seizure, and we might barely, barely survive this uh, duel right here. Hatred aid's good. Hopefully this uh hopefully Ubel doesn't have a third ultimate providence. If Ubel's a third ultimate providence, F's in the chat. F's in the chat right there. Um, but yeah, I think we should be good from here. I don't think there's really anything else I gotta worry about right now. And we should still be getting even though we're not gonna get over ten thousand like light points or whatever, I think we'll still like get somewhere. We're gonna discard our dimensional prison. Yubel didn't summon any of her uh, Yubels, which is good. Okay, so this is the final turn. Let's hope and pray that she doesn't have any more ultimate providences. Hatronade. Hatronade it up. Okay, we're good. Except we're going to activate our Photon Lead to special summon our Golden Ladybug from hand. Next up, we're going to follow up with a Worm Bait to special summon two other uh, Worm Bait tokens. Boom and a boom. Next up, we're going to activate that creature, a seizure, and give control to that. Next up, we're going to go for our normal summon, sacrificing all three of the monsters. They go into the winged dragon aura. And then we're going to go for that direct attack, and there we go. That should be around 7 to 8k. Um, that is for sure. Like I said in the middle of this video, be sure to run maybe two copies of Hatred Aid, or just run Ant. Eh. Yeah, I think anti magic arrows might be bad, but just watch out for that ultimate providence. Ultimate providence is going to be the annoying card to go against, that's for sure. So watch out for ultimate providence. Maybe run some counter traps to stop ultimate providence from happening because ultimate providence will have the potential to negate your spell cards and negate your golden ladybugs. So be on the lookout for that, because Ultimate Providence is definitely an issue right there. Nonetheless, though, hope you guys enjoyed today's, uh, you know, farm video. Uh, hopefully this farm video helped you guys out by any means. And if it did, be sure to go hit the like button on the video down below and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content. I'm actually going to be dropping um, a new news video when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links leaks and uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy The Duelist game. There's been an official announcement uh, release date for that game, so be on the lookout for that. And I don't really know what else to say in today's video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Peace.